Let's begin with some exciting news this morning and that's coming in from NASA which is the US space agency which has now said that its satellite orbiting the moon has found debris of Chandrayaan 2's lander Vikram on the lunar surface. The lander had lost contact remember shortly before the scheduled attempt to soft land on the moon on September 7th but NASA posted pictures talking about their own orbiter that has now shown the impact and the site where they say some debris has been found as well. Now they tweeted also saying that Vikram Lander has been found by our NASA moon mission and they went on to show before and after picture of it's very critical how it looks like you can hardly make a difference over there but we'll talk about that in a bit of more detail to tell you how exactly it is. In fact there is one more image the US space agency has also posted uh, like I said highlighting the changes to the surface and the impact point. Now look at this image on your screen right now and if you go full screen on that you'll be able to see two different colors. It talks about a green and the blue. Now what we are made to understand is that the green dots indicate the spacecraft debris confirmed or likely they're still looking into it and the blue dots are an indicator of the disturbed soil likely where small bits of spacecraft churned up uh, the area as well thus indicating that this is the place where it could have actually happened. Now if you're all this all happened remember in the background of days after the attempt to land the lunar solar uh, the lunar surface ISRO had confirmed that they had lost all communications with the orbiter and later NASA had said that Chandrayaan 2 landed uh, with a hard landing and had released pictures of the targeted land site as well. The lunar lander Vikram, one of the three components of Chandrayaan 2 spacecraft, uh, it stopped transmitting signals just about two kilometers from the surface. And then Vikram and the lunar rover Pragyan, which is housed inside the lander, were scheduled to operate. Uh, for a lunar day that is equal to 14 Earth days and carry out series of surface and subsurface experiments which could not be done. The lunar orbiter which is still in the orbit around the moon is expected to be operational uh, for seven years and help in understanding of the moon's evolution, mapping and its minerals and water molecules in the polar regions. All right, now to just understand what this means, we've got a very special guest for you this morning. We've got Dr. Amitabh Ghosh. He's a NASA scientist. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. All of us who are just looking at all these visuals, extremely fascinated by the details that are coming in. Just explain to us, and I'll go back uh, to that image of the blue and green dots, really, that talks about what exactly is it that NASA has found. There, could you explain to us what exactly does a mosaic image tell us? What are we to make out from this image? Right. So, so okay. So let's uh, go back to the time when the landing happened. Recall, uh, Istro lost contact a few um, kilometers from the surface. Right. And so after that, we didn't know why did the communication break and whether communication will be revived. So at the time, hmm. um, probably, you know, we had a discussion and I was of the opinion that you know, really a communication break means something catastrophic. Hmm. Business. So because you have to explain why it broke and why was it not revived. So here you're just seeing, uh, so the lunar reconnaissance orbiter is, uh, uh, it goes around the moon and takes the picture of various region, regions mm. various times. So what this really, this picture really shows the before and after image. And so you see the difference, though it is very, very slight, you can still make it out. Mm. Um, and what it shows is, so when a, when a crash happens, um, there is a debris field, obviously, you know, it is scattered in a, distance and then um, the disturbed soil um, happens um, in a even in Mars landings where, where I worked in the Mars rovers you know where even if there is a uh, normal descent with balloons hmm. um, the soil is disturbed so here of course there is debris coming down so the soil is disturbed so this confirms the hypothesis that it was 
a hard landing. That is what you are seeing. So, so that's very interesting. Uh, right, it's so probably a little confirming what these images tell us about what could have possibly happened is that there was indeed a hard landing, and the right, debris right. pieces which are being marked out, sir, these are these could be likely to be the debris of the lander itself. Exactly, it is parts of the lander. So it it was it's likely did not survive. Likely, not likely, it definitely did not survive in one place, mm. uh, in, in one piece. Uh, mm. So whether the communication, the communication system, of course, was destroyed. And that's why you're, you're not hearing from it. So, so that is what. So it was, a, uh, it was a high impact. And maybe one of the other things is since there is, so I don't know the scale of this map, but I, mm. it is also possible that the break, that the disintegration might also have taken place not on hitting the ground, but before that. And sir, so, so the big picture over here, this right. seems to be only giving us an idea or piecing together the mystery of what could have actually happened. In the larger right. scheme of the Chandrayaan story, where does this leave us? This latest evidence in terms of pictures that's coming in from NASA. See, the, in the larger scheme of things, well, you have the orbiter, which is still, which is still right. successful and will go on for seven years or 10 years. Hmm. Uh, but the piece which was supposed to land, hmm. which had the lander and a, and a rover, hmm. that piece definitely did not make it um, in one whole um, uh, unit to the surface. So it hard landed and it was um, likely destroyed. So there, you know, there was a lot of... Uh, theories going around that you know, maybe it is standing on four legs, maybe it has a different orientation, mm. maybe it does not have different, does not have adequate sunlight, so it cannot, does not have the energy to communicate. So all those theories are no longer viable because right now what you see is a debris field uh, which is spread over a certain distance. So it proves that definitely the lander was destroyed. And is there a possibility at this uh, point, Doctor, that we could still get some images out of the debris? Are we close to understanding if there's still something live there, something which still has a bit of energy, which can throw back pictures of how exactly the hard landing happened? Is there a possibility that we'll get to a point to actually see how and what unfolded? So these are pretty high resolution pictures. I. I I don't know how much higher resolution you can get, hmm. uh, but um, the other source would have been if the communication system and the cameras on the lander was uh, or rover was live, and that is not possible. And the uh, the third way, see, see, this has happened in the Mars business, uh, where the Mars uh, Mars rover has crashed. Hmm. So you have limited information as to what exactly happened. Because you don't have very high resolution, you you because this is from kilometers above, right? Um, so you cannot act actually see which part lies where, if that is what you're asking. Right. Um, so, so unless, of course, um, oh. this is some country or India sends another landed mission to this area, uh, mm. you will probably not know what exactly happened. All right. Well, the mystery continues then and uh, NASA has put out these pictures. Actually, ISRO hasn't responded to them yet. I'm sure uh, everybody on the team there would be really keen to look into them as well and they're preparing a response. We'll get you that as in when that happens for the moment. Uh, thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us on Good Morning India. Thank you. Thank you.